Let's get you the latest updates this morning on the Bitcoin scam that continues to send political quakes across the state of Karnataka. Now, the main accused, the mastermind of this Bitcoin scam is a hacker called Shrikri who's out on bail. Now, there have been certain allegations, and this is detailed also in the charge sheet, which India Today has accessed, of Shrikri's links with the Congress MLA's son. This is N.A. Harris's son, Mohabad Nalapad. Nolan Pinto gets you details of exactly what the link is between the two. Nalapad has also spoken exclusively to India Today on the allegations that he was linked to Shriki. Karnataka Bitcoin scam gets murkier. An alleged Congress link with hacker Sri Krishna Ramesh, alias Shriki, has emerged now. India Today has accessed the Bitcoin scam chart sheet filed by the Bengaluru police. The chart sheet claims links between hacker Sri Krishna and Congress MLA N.A. Harris's son, Mohammad Nalapad. According to the chart sheet, Shriki introduced Mohammad Nalapad to Robin Khandelwal at the ITC Gardenia Hotel. Robin was close associate of Shriki, who used to cash bitcoins after taking commission. Speaking exclusively to India today, Nalapad admitted knowing Shriki but denied any wrongdoing. If I say that I do not know him, it is a lie. We know him and uh, during 2017, 16, I think 16, 17, he became my brother's friend. Uh, after that, I, he became my friend later. Because he was my brother's friend, we used to say hi, hello, we used to meet here and there. And we live in the center of the city and everybody knows us and we know everyone there. After 2018, in his voluntary statement itself, it is written that there was no relationship after that. Nowhere in the charge sheet or nowhere in any of the uh, document, it says that we have done any crime. Knowing someone cannot be a crime and we have not done anything beyond that. The Karnataka unit of Congress, which first raised the Bitcoin scam, now finds itself in a tight corner. If the, BJ, if the BJP government is inefficient in investigating the and whatever is the allegations of the uh, by made by us, then they, they should step down. If Congress people are involved, tell us who uh, reveal the names. But why is BJP hesitating to reveal the names? CM Basavaraj Bombay had accused Congress of keeping a non-issue alive. <laughs> So they are failing in setting a narrative? See, there is no question of setting narrative. There is no story. So how can you set a narrative there? The Bitcoin scam accused Shriki was arrested on November 17th in a drug case. Shriki is wanted in a wide range of cases, including hacking gaming and government websites dealing in bitcoins on the dark web, buying drugs from abroad as well as physical assault. The investigation has sparked a political war in the state, with the opposition accusing the BJP government of a cover-up. They claim the whole scam runs into hundreds of crores. With Nolan Pinto in Bengaluru, Bureau Report, India Today. Nolan Pinto is joining us live from Bengaluru with the latest updates on the story and the investigation. Nolan, good morning. You know, so far, this entire issue was brought up by the Congress to pile pressure on the BJP government. There's now questions being asked of the Congress itself because of Mohabin Nalapad's name emerging. You spoke to Nalapad. How is the Congress really responding to all of these allegations? Well, apart from Nalpad, no senior Congress leader is willing to actually speak on this particular issue. In fact, uh, today, uh, Akshita, they will be having a press conference at around 2.30. And we, can, we assume that it is on the Bitcoin issue. So that is where we can actually put this question to them, stating that all this while you said that uh, the BJP was involved. But now in the charge sheet, it very clearly says that Mohammed Nalpad, N.A. Harris's son, the Congress MLA from Shantinagar, knew uh, Shriki. And what is also interesting is this. He says that after eight to 2018, 
as mentioned by Shriki in the charge sheet, that they had no contact. But Umar Abdul uh, Nalpar, I beg your pardon, his younger brother did meet him continuously in different places across the country while Shriki was on the run. Basically, he, it took some time for uh, the police to arrest him. Uh, he managed to get uh, anticipatory bail, but Omar Nalpad, Mohammed Nalpad's son, was in contact with Shriki all this while. So, a lot of questions uh, that the Congress now needs to actually answer, uh, because all this while they have been saying that the BJP, uh, senior leaders from the BJP are, are involved. All right, we'll track the latest on the story as and when it develops for the moment. Uh, Nolan, thank you very much for joining us.